Hey there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com and today I want to talk about the Elementor Page Builder versus Oxygen Builder and which of those tools is better. Now this is a topic that I see discussed frequently in Facebook groups and there are supporters on both sides. Some people will say that Elementor is better, others will say that Oxygen is better. And I'm going to start by saying this. If you say that Elementor is better, you're both right and you're wrong. And if you say that Oxygen is better, again, you're both right and you're wrong. Here's the thing. There are two different tools for completely different purposes. Asking which of those is better is a bit like asking which is better between a hammer and a screwdriver. Both a hammer and a screwdriver have their uses. And they, you know, there's a little bit of overlap, right? They both allow you to attach things together, but they're different tools for different purposes. The same is true of Oxygen and Elementor. They're different tools for different purposes. So the question really isn't which is better. The question should be which is better for which purpose or which is better for which type of person. So let's start by talking about Elementor. Elementor is a tool for the masses. It was designed to make website building easy for everybody. Now, of course, you can do advanced things in Elementor if you want to, but you don't have to. You can build a great looking website by using Elementor and not getting into advanced features. For me, Elementor is a great choice. I have one website for myself, another website for my wife. And I like to build my own things. I like to be able to tweak and, and change things around. And so I use Elementor. It works great for me. I'm not a coder. I don't know how to code. You know, I can look at things like CSS and kind of figure out what it does and make a few tweaks. But if you ask me to write any sort of code, you know, it's not a something that I know how to do. So for me, again, Elementor is great because I can use it. I can develop and design a nice new website without knowing how to code. And, you know, if you are a coder, you can still use Elementor. Uh, you know, it's still a great tool. But what I'm seeing is that more and more website developers are incredibly, incredibly passionate about Oxygen. Oxygen is a tool for website developers. It's a tool for people who know how to write code. Now, even people who love Oxygen, what I've seen is it will say, you know, there is a learning curve. Even, even for, you know, this person who loves Oxygen will say, you know, I need to kind of figure out how to use it. It's a kind of different beast, a different animal. And, you know, there is a learning curve. For somebody like me who doesn't know how to code, you know, the learning curve is just incredible. And, you know, since I only need basically two websites, there's no point, there's no value in me learning how to use Oxygen. You know, I've used all the different website builders. I've used, you know, obviously Elementor. I used uh, Visual Composer slash WP Bakery. I built websites with Thrive Themes. I played around with Brizzy, with Divi, uh, with Beaver Builder. Uh, if you ask me to build a website in any of those tools, I could do it, no problem at all. If you ask me to build your website in Oxygen, I wouldn't even know where to start. You can go onto the Oxygen, what, Oxygen website. You know, if you Google Oxygen, Oxygen Builder, uh, one of the links you'll see is Try Oxygen. And then I'll give you a little sandbox you can play around with Oxygen. And I've done that. I did that recently in preparation for this video, thinking, you know, maybe things have changed and they haven't. I looked at it and I said, I don't even know where to start. Um, you know, again, it's not a tool for me. I'm not the audience. It's a great tool for developers. Developers absolutely, absolutely love Oxygen. I'm seeing more and more developers saying, you know, I switched from Elementor to Oxygen because it's just a better tool for me. I can do more. Uh, yeah, there was a learning curve, but it's also easier for me to use. And so, you know, if you're a developer, definitely, definitely, definitely take a look at Oxygen. I, you know, not based on my recommendation, but based on the recommendation of all these developers that I've seen, you know, saying that they absolutely love Oxygen. Now, of course, you can have them both in your toolbox. You know, there may be situations where Oxygen is a better tool for you. And there may be situations where Elementor is a better tool for you. Uh, again, if you're designing websites, developing websites for, you know, dozens, hundreds of people, you know, you may need different tools for different people. So, you know, Oxygen may be, may be, <laughs> may be your preferred, preferred tool as a developer, but Elementor may also have uses. Again, for somebody like me, you know, if you're like me, you don't know how to code, you just need one website, two websites, I think Elementor is a clear choice. I don't see any reason why, you know, a small business owner uh, would have an interest in a tool like Oxygen. It's just not, you know, we're not the audience. So again, these are different tools. One isn't better than the other. They have different uses. They have different audiences. So I want to talk about pricing for a moment because I think this is important to know. 
So with Elementor, you have three options for getting access to the pro version of Elementor. So first of all, you have the personal license, which is $49 a year for one website. The plus plan is $99 a year for three websites. And then the expert plan is $199 a year for 1,000 websites. The important thing to note here is that with Elementor, you have to pay every single year to keep your access to the pro version of the license. And if you don't keep paying, then you'll stop getting updates and eventually your website, uh, you might have problems because your website won't be compatible with WordPress and you won't be able to make uh, lots of different changes, et cetera. So with, with Elementor, it is important to keep paying every single year so that you maintain access to the pro version. Oxygen, however, is different. With Oxygen, you only pay one time and you get lifetime access to Oxygen. And regardless of which plan you buy, the basic plan, the WooCommerce plan, or the agency plan, you can use Oxygen on an unlimited number of websites. So you'll pay anywhere from $99 to, right now they have a special going on, but it'll be something like $169 or $249. Again, one time, you get lifetime access and you can use it on an unlimited number of websites. That again is why this is a really, really great tool if you're building websites for other people. If you're a website designer or website developer, you only pay one time. It's not like Elementor where you have to pay every single year. So again, if you're a designer or developer, definitely look into Oxygen. Now, if you're somebody like me, somebody who just needs one website, two websites, three websites, you might be thinking, well, wait a second, shouldn't I also go with Oxygen after all? I will save money. You know, I only have to pay oxygen one time and I get lifetime access. With Elementor, I've got to pay every single year. Well, yes, that is true. With oxygen, over the long term, you will save money relative to Elementor. But the issue is this. If you're not a coder, if you're not a developer, it's going to take a lot more time to learn how to use oxygen. Elementor, yes, there is a learning curve. There's a learning curve with any tool. But the learning curve with Elementor is a lot, lot less steep and it'll take you a lot less time to learn Elementor, and time is money. So again, for somebody like me, who doesn't know how to code, who just needs one or two websites, three websites maybe, Elementor, in my opinion, is by far the best option. The other issue that I wanna talk about is website speed. Everybody says that Oxygen produces cleaner code and that your website will load faster than if you use Elementor. And as far as I know, that is absolutely 100% correct which is another reason why if you're a developer, if you're a designer, if you're creating websites for other people, you should definitely look into Oxygen. Now, if you're somebody like me, somebody who just needs a couple of websites, somebody who doesn't know how to code, you might be thinking, well, wait a second, don't I also want my website to load as quickly as possible? Shouldn't I also take a look at Oxygen? So here's the thing. You can absolutely build a fast loading website in Elementor. And the amount of time it'll take you to speed up your Elementor built website is a lot less than the amount of time that it'll take you to learn a tool like Oxygen. By the way, I do have a video on my YouTube channel showing you how to speed up a website that is built in WordPress. It's not particular to Elementor, but everything that I talk about in that video can absolutely be applied to an Elementor website. So I'll go ahead and link to that in the video description below. That way you can easily find that particular video. So again, I think for people like me, Elementor is definitely the tool of choice. So that is what I wanted to say about Elementor versus Oxygen and which is better. Again, they are both fantastic tools and they both have a place within the WordPress ecosystem. It's not a question as to which is better. Elementor is for the masses, it's for people like me who don't know how to code, who just need a couple of websites, and it can also have value for designers and developers. That being said, what I'm seeing is more and more designers and developers are turning to Oxygen as their tool of choice. So again, the question isn't which is better, the question is which is better for whom and under which circumstances. So I hope that you found this video valuable. Now, if you decide to upgrade to Elementor Pro and you have any questions before you do so, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. With Oxygen, I'll also try to help you, but again, I'm not an Oxygen user. I'm probably not the best source of information on Oxygen, but if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you. Finally, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you know when I've released a new video. So that is all. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.